Hello everyone, welcome back to Doom. I am still on this level, even though I said that what I do is finish it off off camera, uh, find those extra secrets and come back, because what's actually turned out is that A, I didn't go through this door, and B, I discovered that one of the secrets actually produces a yellow skull key, and we have already apparently found the exit to this level. Uh, now anyone a little bit more rash or rushing than me, Whoa, that scared me. Uh, why is it a secret when it's behind a door? Um, would have probably jumped in the exit going, yes, I've done the level, but I am still min-maxing a little bit here, more than I necessarily think I should. But I have yet to discover... Soul Spear. Soul Spear. Did you just go boo-doop and boringly give me a BFG without even any ceremony? I think that happened. Mm, okay. Uh, have a look here in the middle of the map where this corridor is. This room here has the floor that I didn't walk on. It's the um, ouchy floor, basically. That's what I'm going to call it. It's the preferred term for it in gaming circles. It's the ouchy floor. Back over here, you remember this? There was a thing and then in there. And I picked up all the stuff in there. And there's a teleporter in there, which brings you out into such a position that you open another one of those thingies. Oh, this is noisy, I remember. Shush. Um, and opens up one of those. Now, I don't know what this yellow key is for, and I cannot fathom immediately why one would, or rather how one would get into that chamber that you can see at the end of that. Now, presumably we've used that teleporter. Let's find out. Okay, and that takes us to here, which is no use at all. Ooh, interesting. Have I done that before? Maybe. Uh, yeah, so I honestly don't know. And I can hear an imp, which I want to flatten, but I don't know where it is. So, we have a yellow key, and I do not see a yellow door, which is mildly frustrating. I tried opening the thing here, but it's a... Uh, this passageway is up in the air, and we can't reach it. Some of you probably already know exactly where I should be going. The fact that that's a red line implies to me that that is the exit of the level, because otherwise it wouldn't be doing that. So somehow, we need to find what this yellow key does, where to use it, and this is causing me great anguish because we've been 17 minutes on this level already uh, and have yet to find it. So I think I'm going to run around a little bit more. Hopefully, chunk, very well. Uh, hopefully find the secret of the yellow key, and I will come back uh, you know, with my shield or on it. So I will see you soon, hopefully. Well, that didn't take long. <laughs> Might not even cut that. Oh, hello. In case you were wondering, I observed that one of these small sections. See how there's, you can see the door and where it enters a teleport. You can see how, in fact, this one down here, some of these are blue, basically. Ah, oh, they all seem to be blue, actually, now I look at them closely. No. That might have just been a optical illusion, but I guessed right in any case. Now we have invincibility. This also does not help us. Uh, okay, so I found that thingy, and it was not the secret we were hoping for. So I think the only thing we have left to do is try going through there. See if it turns out to be the exit. Because all the teleporters that are real teleporters of this dark blue slash purple, whatever colour they are, I don't know. Don't talk to a colourblind person about getting colours wrong. Um, so the only thing I can think of doing is to take this. Go in here. Uh, and then... Rush down here. Where the heck is this imp, though? And see if we can use the invulnerability to work out this zone. Right here. <clears throat> Ooh. What did that do? Ah! I have you now. So there's a secret in there, which I probably shouldn't have taken on. Well, the invincibility is running out, so that's fine timing with me. But how the heck do we get into here? Definitely something down there. Unless this is simply a um uh, a 
tube to let enemies in with, but I... I right, there's an enemy there. Die. This is obviously not doing anything. We can't open that. I can open anything here. Maybe we can open anything here. I feel like we need to exhaust a lot more possibilities or something. It looks like it ends up over here. Not there. None of these, I believe. We should probably uh, use our fists or our pistol to test shooty things. This is most strange. That's a button we've already pressed. That's a button. I'm just going to leave this level, and you can leave in the comments the answers, provided that by leaving this level I don't accidentally find the answer. <laughs> anyway, uh, so we teleport here. Then we go onto the one with the star in it. The pentagram, I should say. Then we go through this door. Then we go around here. Do not know what this yellow key could possibly be for. It seems like we found everything. I am at a loss. So unless this exit is not the exit, it is. Well, well tell me what I missed, basically. 70% of the secrets, that means I missed maybe one or two. Uh, but <laughs> pulled to that level. Um, hello. Ooh, I remember this level. In fact, this is the level I think of whenever I think of Doom. And honestly, I thought this was a Doom 2 level, so I'm glad to have had the opportunity to play it again. Uh, Mount Erebus. This is a job for you, son of a bitch. <clears throat> it's nice to have an occasional opportunity to use the BFG. I don't know what the range is on its sight, if you see what I mean. If that uh, is an appropriate term to use, the, the, the scope of its explosion and the enemies that it will damage. Uh, it could be infinite as far as I know, so maybe if we use it on an open space. I mean, it could simply be line of sight with an infinite range. Somehow I doubt it, but, you know. This is pesky. There we go, there we go. Using up all my HP. No. What's this stuff that goes in guns called? Using up all of that on a single enemy. Refuses to die. Full of zombies again. So obviously a lot of our Marine Corps actually made it this far. Always dragged down here. I guess they didn't have to be alive when they got down here. They could have just been dragged here in zombie form. If I'm going to be dragged to hell, I'd rather be dead already. Let's do something slightly but less uh, spread. I see you there. Of course, we don't have much in the way of bullets, so maybe we would prefer to just chainsaw these. I don't have a chainsaw! What? That is interesting. We must have missed a chainsaw by now. I can't imagine that you'd be able to go through the whole of hell without accidentally finding a chainsaw. I heard a door open and I didn't do it. It could have been on a trigger. Much like that was. Not sure about this invulnerability sphere right now. Sure, why not? Let's just use it. Because we haven't picked up a Berserk yet, it's not really worth using a uh, fist, unfortunately. Doesn't last long either. So. Well, you can fight amongst yourselves, just like you two. Actually, quite hard to see the uh, the enemies here. Might as well make the most of this and kill things that are likely to cause us trouble in the future. Like this uh, imp zoo. I assume that in real life, uh, invincibility flashes to let you know that it's running out as well. We've got enough bullets now. In fact, you know what? But the poop, but a bing! Yeah, that didn't seem to hit many of them. But maybe they block each other. Maybe the line of sight thing is the case. It's just that they block one another. This is a terrible idea, by the way. Don't do this. Much like in Isaac, do not do what I'm doing. I wonder how many... Plasmas the BFG uses. I have a sense that it's like 20 or something, but I didn't actually pay attention. Because <clears throat> if we have a lot of plasma ammo, we should 
probably find ourselves more likely to get value out of the BFG than out of the plasma rifle itself. And there's some up there. So presumably these drop somehow, but goodness knows how. I mean, I remember the level with these weird ass... I don't even know what I'm supposed to understand from these. It just seems like glowing rock of some description, but... Maybe the new Doom will give us some... Yeah, I kind of expected that to happen, to be quite honest with you. I'm okay with it. I have a lot of everything. This is going to hurt. It did hurt slightly. Okay, good. Why aren't you dying? Because you're a fire being, obviously. You're breathing fire. Of course, you're not going to die from being in lava. Um, I'm trying to avoid stepping on the lava if I can. I love the fact that you have a period of time in which you are not going to take damage from lava because the damage... Happens on a, a tick's basis, much like in every single game in the world. One thing that always... Because... Look, a bit of background. I am a developer of websites, but, you know, development is a... A vocation, shall we say? A, a discipline. Which... There's, there's two sides to it. There's the understanding how development works, and then there's the understanding the specific language that you've chosen to use to develop in the first place. Please. <laughs> what I'm doing here? Uh, and I don't develop in any language that would necessarily write games, but uh, more and more we're seeing that game engines can be modded in a game in, in a language like Lua. I mean, Minecraft is written in Java, which is a terrible language for a, a game that needs the performance to gain the high FPS. But what always confused me is that it's okay. People think it's okay, and apparently it is. For the game engine to work on a sort of ticks basis, where just every second you get several, however many it turns out to be, updates. And everything is done based on this update. It's basically a polling system, right? Uh, and in case you're unfamiliar, polling is when uh, an algorithm such as those four games will check to see if there's anything to do. Like, there'll be a list of options of things that could be done. And the game engine, or whatever it is, will just periodically check to see if there's anything to do. Which ultimately is how a computer must work. So polling is basically the only way of doing anything, but it seems... It seems wrong, if you see what I mean, because if the thing that you're doing takes more than... Say you're polling 60 times a second, if it takes more than 1 60th of a second to complete, you're going to find yourself in a little bit of trouble, because then the next thing will be delayed by that amount. By, the, like, the overlap there. Is that it? That's it. Uh, so it seems like the wrong way of doing things. What I'd rather have is it tells me... Oh, that actually only reduces the amount of ticks of damage that happen. Uh... And what I want is something that tells me that there's something to do. I assume that's what happened. I didn't get hit by something else, did I? I don't know. Uh, basically by saying, event has happened, handle it, right? Deal with it. Uh, and ultimately there is something to poll to see if there's events to tell me about. That is true. That's how the computer must ultimately work. Energy cell pack. Well, that's nice. Now we can find out how many bullets this takes. 40. I mean, it was pretty effective, though. Got rid of two of them. So, a game like Minecraft, for example, has 20 ticks per second, which means every second it checks 20 times to see if there's anything to do. And if there's nothing to do, it still checks 20 times. Whereas if there's a lot to do, it's going to try to check 20 times, but probably be unable to. This is a strange room that I remember well and have no understanding of the purpose of. So this game probably checks maybe 30 times a second, I don't know, I mean, it's written a long time ago, so there was a limited amount of resources for the game, uh, so it could only check so many times a second without overstaying its welcome. Take the Zerk, and we won't use it. So I, I, I always get myself wondering, is there a better way of doing it, which is why I never liked the idea of writing a game. Because it felt inelegant. I don't want to do that. I don't want to 20 times a second or 30 or 40 times a second to see if there's anything to do. I want to be told if there's something to do. 
So if I'm pressing the forward button, I want to be told that there's a forward button, and I want to be told when it stops. How do we get in here, then? I'm sure there's a way. There's a door there. This is a confusing level. I do like it. It's one of those manic levels. The, uh, the word I've been thinking of all this time, by the way, is demented. I remember it now. Similar to deranged, but not quite the same. Where did that... There you are. Still not dead. Unbelievable. So you lot can't hear me. Which means I can do this. So you see how that didn't reach the ones over there? One more for luck. <clears throat> Seems to have done some damage. I'm okay with that. You, come over here. Why was I talking about polling? Yeah. So when you get things like Doom, it's going to check every so often whether you're standing on something ouchy, whether you're standing on an ouchy floor, and if you are, it's going to cause you damage. Right? Oh, that makes sense. Seems like a sensible way of doing it. So I was apparently supposed to jump up there and run to the midst of it and take the invincibility to cope with it, but that's not what I did. Alright, let's explore a little bit and see if we can figure out how these things stick together. Oh, that's the point. We can go back in here, use the other one, which is this one, and uh, presumably unlock another bad guy? Wait, did we already get the... No, we didn't. It wasn't clever. Let's go back up there. So these obviously relate to this... There we go. I tried to make that open, but it's already open. I have beaten you already, game. Do not test me. Only one of those was a secret. Right, so we're looking for a button that opens that red place. Uh, that sort of three-armed place over there. I like the fact that that door only closes when you leave. It's an interesting use of a simple engine to make an interesting effect. Right, so I reckon that what we have to do now is go down into that pit. Because it's the only place we haven't been yet. So what I'll do is I'll grab this. Invulnerability. I will run around. Oh, I remember this. Blue key, right. So we should save our uh, final... No, I'm not going to mess with you. I've got a pit to go into. There's a shotgun, right? Uh, a shotgun. There's a... Oh, what? I don't want to be here. I found a chainsaw anyway. That's what I was trying to say. Jump. There's water. Okay, good. Uh, um, have I done this wrong? Do I have to leap from somewhere? I can see that thing over there, actually. I was going to say I'm going to use this invulnerability to make the best of this pit, but apparently that did not happen. What are these things? I can see you. I think in original, in original Doom that would have hit me. In the original engine, because... The height of things is not considered. There's another one up there. Are you... seeing anything? Apart from this teleporter? No, but I bet there's something in there. Okay. Now let's go back in here. I'm wondering if there's a way of sort of jumping off and landing on something properly, but it doesn't look like there is. Maybe you have to teleport into there. I can't remember. I remember doing this level, but I don't remember how to. It's an interesting... It's a very open level, and obviously the, the walls themselves are not on the map. That was the... Okay, that was the platform that went down. Uh, so I don't really know what's next, unfortunately. <clears throat> now, apparently the... Uh, radiation suits simply reduce the number of ticks... Or increase the number of ticks between damage being taken rather than reducing the amount of damage you take. Uh, or zero the amount of damage you take. Because you still took a bit of damage from the uh, lava. Although I'm not entirely convinced by that now. Uh, excuse me? Let me out. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. So that was a secret, but this is not. Fair enough. That's where you want to play it. So we'll grab our chainsaw. 
that caused something to go down with. Now we're on the inside of this. Okie dokie. So that was actually progress that we made there, which is interesting because you would expect progress not to be hidden behind something else that considers itself to be a secret. I mean, the other door that was identical to that door was a secret. This being said, it may be possible that on the map, one of them looked like a secret and the other one didn't. And I just wasn't paying attention to the fact that one of them looked like a door. There is a computer map over there. We might want to take that for ourselves. Beating up a cacodemon with a shotgun is pretty pesky. Come on. There we go. Right, press this. Uh, another mildly demented, as I was saying. I definitely picked that up, but apparently I didn't. Uh, thing is that that switch was inverted. You have to sort of pull it. Kind of interesting, because how would you... I mean, at some point you have to ask how you even consider that switch to be activated. Now, is 40 plasmas a good price for the number of cacodemons that we just killed on each one of those? Paid 80 plasmas to kill you know, 4 cacodemons and not significantly damage those ones either. So I think what we want to do is we want to pick up... I guess it doesn't necessarily matter because we're going to have to jump on the lava to get the um, the thing in the first place, but it didn't hurt too much. Let me pick this up. So we're at 100% health, and then we go and get the soul sphere, which will get us up to 200% health. There we go. There's plenty of HP on this level, which is kind of fair because it makes you walk into the lava all the time. Now we need to find the blue door. No, we should jump down that pit again because something opened up. Where is it? It's very easy to get disoriented in this level. Let's just run around the lava and see if we actually get hurt. It's probably the exit in there. Uh, maybe not. Let's find out. Yeah, looks like the exit to me. So, it's got the silver thing on it. So that sort of suggests that it's a secret exit. But everything's topsy turvy right now. Again, in that demented way. So something went down when we stepped on there. Maybe it went back up again. No idea. So this is a clue, because this is where it was. Oh, it made that go up. Interesting. So you can't get that if you jump in there first. This might be where the other thing teleports you to, but I'm just going to give it a go. That didn't work. <laughs> nice try. Nice try, dodgems. Well, we're here anyway, by accident. Oh. Ah! Lame. Yeah, that seemed to work. Let's try again. And this time, don't fall off. Just, just do it right. It's not that hard. Just don't fail. How hard can it be? Probably just press shift. Secret level? We did find the last secret. I think that 91% was because we didn't pick up the uh, the other armor. I'm going to leave it there. going to press escape here. Uh, that's a fairly long video for, by my standards, although I did spend some time off camera. Uh, thank you for watching. Remember, leave a like, that helps us, and leave a subscribe, that helps you leave a subscribe. Good way of phrasing it. You know what, I should really work on my entrance. I'm going to go and work on that in front of a mirror right now, but until next time, thank you for watching this episode. I hope that you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.